ChatGPT. It's become evidently clear that it's not going anywhere anytime soon, honestly, and for good reason. It's because it's revolutionary. Still though, while an entire sea of creators are fiending at the opportunity to create videos around ChatGPT to, you know, gain subscribers and clout, myself included, there is one opportunity that nobody is talking about. And today we're gonna be covering it. You see, while ChatGPT served as the real intro into the world of AI and how it can affect our daily lives, no one really knows what they quite want to use it for yet. It's like Minecraft Creative Mode or any sandbox game. You have all the materials, they're there, but you don't know exactly what you want to create yet. The possibilities are endless, of course, and it's the same way with AI. The only limit truly is your own imagination. Now, as of right now, many people are using AI for mostly surface level intentions. How do I write this paper? How do I cook this recipe? How do I write some code for this website, etc., etc.? But what they don't realize is that there is a much bigger picture for AI. So today I'm going to be telling you about the real lucrative truth about AI and three actionable steps that you can take to get yourself closer to making those billions now before we get into it i create this content because i'm passionate about it i don't sell courses or anything like that so if you'd consider hitting that subscribe button it would really mean a lot to me if you're wondering what's going on with the setup right now we're in the process of moving so holding my microphone and <laughs> recording with my laptop is the best way that i can do this all right let's hop in now if you hadn't seen my previous video i talked about a few side hustles that you could start with chat gpt and they're all great businesses honestly but none of them truly encapsulated the real capabilities of ai now ai as a supplemental tool is extremely effective and it's going to be continued to be used in that way whether you're a copywriter and you just want to supplement your your writing but the real money the true money the generational wealth lies deep within the technology itself. So to understand the opportunity that sits before us, we have to go back in time a little bit to the industrial revolution. Now, Zorro, it's 2023, so why do we have to go all the way back to the 1800s? Well, because... Yo, mama! <laughs> The truth is that the industrial revolution and the technological revolution that we're seeing right now are eerily similar. Now, the only difference is that the industrial revolution lasted over a period of almost 100 years. I think it was 1740 to 1860. Whereas the technological revolution that we're seeing right now, it's only been a few years for AI to advance. Now, of course, there is another difference, which is where the opportunity lies. Now, the industrial revolution was all about the adoption and creation of mechanical technologies that could allow us to do things more efficiently, faster, travel further, whereas AI is revolutionizing the workforce, how businesses operate in digital technology itself, using data to create efficiency at no extra cost. Now herein lies your opportunity using AI and its API to create AI powered tools. That was a mouthful. That's what she said. Anyways, to create AI powered solutions for companies. Now, what do I mean by this? Now, companies are going to be looking for ways to integrate AI into their businesses anyway. It's just a fact. Now, whether or not you, you believe me or you just want to la 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 la, you know, shut your ears off to it, it's going to happen whether you like it or not. So it's best to be on the right side of that coin. I mean, it helps them reduce overhead costs. It reduces human error and just overall reduces their overhead in the first place. So why not use AI to create the solution that they're looking for? Now, those who know how to properly leverage AI to create powerful solutions will make the most money. Money. Let's use healthcare in the medical field, for example. Now, there is more money flowing around in the medical field than pretty much in any other field in the world, right? Now, imagine you could build an AI-powered software or tool that provided more accurate diagnoses and more accurately identified early health risks, or a software that streamlined doctor-to-patient relationships, allowing patients who have a hard time getting out of their homes to be seen in the comfort of their own home with AI. Now, the possibilities are literally endless, guys, whether you want to do it on the doctor-to-patient side or maybe on the medical billing side, changing the way that insurance companies interact with one another. Now, let me provide you with one more example, something that's maybe a little bit easier for everybody to understand, because not everyone's a medical professional and its inner workings are complicated. Now, let's use copywriting as an example. As a business owner, it's less expensive to pay a software $50 a month to write your copy for you than paying someone $500 a month to write your copy for you. Now, of course, this doesn't mean that copywriters will be out of work. Of course, great copywriters will still find work quite easily, but on a very basic level, companies aren't gonna wanna pay for a generalized copywriter that isn't so great at their job when they can just pay $50 a month for software that does it better. Now guys, like I said, you can be that opportunity for that business. Businesses are going to start looking for AI powered solutions. And if you can be the one to provide that solution, you are going to make a lot of money. So with that being said, I'm gonna provide you with three actionable steps that you can take today to start building your own AI powered software. 
So first and foremost, you need to identify a specific problem or a need. There is no business without a problem that you're solving. The more specific that you can get, the better. The more niche down that you can get, the higher ticket pricing that you can charge. Now, this will not only help you niche down and make more money, but it'll also be easier to build your tool because you know exactly what you're building and exactly who you're building it for. Now, of course, this includes identifying a target industry like healthcare or copywriting. And then you need to be identifying a problem within that industry that you can use a tool to solve. That's not already created preferably. Now, really take time to think about this one, guys, because this will set you up for success. This is the most important step. Second, you're going to have to gather data, a lot of it. The truth is, guys, AI is only as accurate as the data that you give it. If you tell it to write copywriting, but you only give it one copywriting example, chances are the copywriting is not going to be that good. But when it has hundreds of thousands of examples of copywriting to pull from, it's going to write some pretty good copy. Now, AI learns better with more data that it can draw from. That much is obvious. So the more data that you can provide, the better. But the question is, how do you get this data? What data am I even talking about? That's not really giving you much information. So let me give a little bit more insight. Now, there are several ways that you can go about getting data for your AI. The first is purchasing from a data provider. You can look at public data sets and you can do data scraping, et cetera, et cetera. There are multiple different ways that you can pull data and you can even have someone to do it for you or pay someone else for the service. Maybe you can create your own AI data scraping tool. I don't know. <laughs> Third and finally, we have your go-to market approach. Test your tool, make sure it works and it can effectively do the given task at hand every single time because guys you do not want your tool messing up you don't want it stuck on hang-ups especially when you're pitching to big businesses and corporations because that's where the real money is made now once you verify that everything is working properly like any business you're gonna have to see if anyone has any interest in it in the first place this is your minimum viable product and now you're going to go pitch it to other businesses now a great way to get your software maybe being used is by offering a free trial or offering free use for the first few businesses that incorporate it for the testing in the first place you can start providing free access to see if it's something that really picks up steam and then you can monetize that and start charging afterwards and if you don't get a lot of people using it even with free access well maybe it's time to hit the drawing board again regardless once you find something that does stick you stand to make a lot of money guys now guys remember to stay persistent when it comes to creating not everything works the first time this is such a new field and truthfully no one knows where it's going as much as we can guess and be like oh it's gonna replace this person or these people are gonna be out of jobs we don't we don't know is ai gonna take over the world i have no clue are there gonna be ai only fans agencies i have no clue but that's just the reality of it although it can't be denied that ai is coming whether you like it or not so you can choose to be like oh it's it's not going to replace our jobs or like how could they do this or you can choose to take action because guys as entrepreneurs we have to be malleable we have to be adaptable to the environments that we are put in and this is exactly one of those situations we can sit here and gripe and complain and you know just talk about how much it's going to ruin our lives or we can be adaptable and use it to make more money so guys stay curious and keep learning and if you decide to continue with any of these businesses go ahead and let me know down in the comments below anyways guys that is the end of the video if you did enjoy the video be sure to leave it a like for the youtube algorithm and if you want to see more content from me be sure to subscribe so you don't miss another upload and next time i'm going to be seeing you guys in my brand new office let's go <laughs> super excited about that but anyways guys i'll catch you later peace